It's in these moments when that feeling hits me. Indifference. Emptiness. Longing for something. That state of being disconnected. You might be experiencing something similar right now. That feeling that you're an outsider, misunderstood by the world, or the world has kept you in this state of darkness, and the light only shines once you've felt it again. A connection, a human birthright that you cannot fathom as to why you've been robbed of it. Such a cruel joke, isn't it? What have I done to deserve this? When will it come? What's wrong with me? It's in these moments where we go looking for answers, hoping we'll find an antidote somewhere. They will say, you just need to find love, get a new hobby, get outside more, join a community, talk to more people, call your friends and family. You've probably already heard this a million times. Maybe you've even tried one of those things, or all of them, and they helped for a bit, but it does nothing to the void that keeps expanding in you. What then? How do you move forward? Reality starts to hit, where every attempt to feel connected again results in failure. Maybe you feel that you're meant to be alone. That there is something about you which is inherently flawed. That this is the state that you will remain in for the rest of your life. I may not know who you are, but I want you to know that I'm here with you right now. In this moment, we are all here, sharing this planet together. Connection lies with every breath we take and every word we exchange. It's the veil formed by our own fears and judgment that hinders us from experiencing the love that's built into our true nature. I am oftentimes haunted by the thoughts of what people will say when they see me. When they see me in this state. When they see me telling someone to remain hopeful in a situation that I've never lived through. Who am I to tell someone that things will change? How do I know? What value do my words have to someone else? I'm only one perspective out of eight billion. But it's this way of thinking that keeps us closed off from experiencing the harmony that's always existed between us. We all have different stories, different places we've been to, different voices we've used, different hearts we've touched, but across these stories, we notice patterns. The array of emotions we've all felt, or may feel at some point, the evolution of our mind and body from birth until now, the smiles we've all received and given to others and despite the difference in circumstance. There's someone else out there who has felt something so similar to what you're feeling right now. This realization serves as a catalyst for starting a connection with someone new, or rekindling one with those who you felt like you've known for a lifetime. And this connection can only blossom from being here right now through this act of stillness, presence. This action alone invites others to do the same, creating space for the harmony to emerge. I found that the light that we seek only emerges when surrendering to the here and now, allowing what is meant to take place to naturally unfold. Instead of scrutinizing every action of ours and others and listening to the voices that keep us in the dark, I begin to hold still. Though it is difficult at times, it's in this stillness that I start to notice the first signs of a connection that I've been longing for. Allowing myself to be, to be here. Feel that connection with every breath. However faint it may be, with every step you take, you strengthen your faith that the light is coming. That belief that everything will get better. That's all that matters right now. This one single step. As we begin to move, I remind myself and others to remember these words. I will not look up to see what lies ahead, nor will I accept this darkness as the truth, but instead rejoice in the glimmer of light that I'm witnessing with this moment with this person, with humanity. 
and with the world.